Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out, each time you breathe in, each time you breathe out. Try to keep your awareness continually right here. Once you make up your mind to keep it here, you begin to notice how much it wanders. It peeks into the breath for a bit and says, okay, I know that. It has in and out, that's about it, and then it wanders off someplace else. Actually, there are lots of ins and outs to the breath. There's long breathing, there's short breathing, heavy, light, fast, slow. And each of these ways of breathing is going to have an impact on the body. So try to breathe in a way that feels really good, feels really right for the body and right for the mind right now. Because you want to get the mind so it can stay here continually. We live by our actions. We shape the world with our actions. Where do the actions come from? They come from our intentions. Our intentions come from the mind. And where do they happen? They happen right here in the present moment. But for the most part, we're not fully here. We give a few directions and then we go running off. It's like a chairman of a company who gives a few directives to the workers and then goes off and has a vacation. Comes back and checks up a little bit every now and then and goes back off again. And as a result, the chairman has no idea what's really going on. Because the workers in the company can make things look a certain way, even though they're doing something else. It's the same with the mind. The mind is very rarely honest with itself about what its intentions are. And so if you look a little bit, you begin to say, oh, there's nothing but good intentions, I've got a good mind. But then the question is, why do we go through life and doing things that make suffering for ourselves and suffering for other people? There's something we don't know about what's going on. So we've got to look more carefully and look more continually. Because some of the causes and effects in the mind have a cause that gives a rise to an immediate effect. And others have causes that give rise to effects only over time. And you're going to see the connection only if you're, you're here over time as well. To make another analogy, it's like watching a TV show or a movie. If you go in and out of the room and occasionally catch up on what's going on, you don't really know what's happening. To understand the plot, to understand the whole story, you have to stay there and watch it all the way through. It's in this way that we clear up a lot of our ignorance about what's going on in the mind. And the less ignorance we have, the less suffering we we'll cause. The less suffering we cause for ourselves, the less suffering we cause for other people around us. So I try to develop a continual awareness right here. And take advantage of the fact that you can adjust the breath so it becomes a good place to stay. That way you give rise to a sense of well-being. And when you're coming from a sense of well-being inside, it's easier to wish for the well-being of others and to act for the well-being of others. Because you have this sense of well-being and a sense of strength and the clarity of knowledge, all of which are needed to act skillfully, to shape your life in a skillful way.